Hey everyone. So today I'm going to be sharing with you how I've integrated Telscale within to my self-hosted environment. Telscale simplifies secure networking across multiple devices and locations using WireGuard for seamless connectivity without the headache for dealing with, you know, firewalls, configurations, or other hardware setup. So just keep in mind that Telscale uses end-to-end -end encryption via WireGuard, meaning your private keys stay safe on your device. And Telscale, the company cannot inspect or access your traffic. However, Telscale do collect limited metadata such as device names, IP addresses, and connection logs to help manage your network. This metadata does not include the actual content of your traffic, which remains encrypted. So a disclaimer, before using Telscale, I highly recommend doing your own research to understand how it works and what data it will handle. That said, based on what I've learned personally, I trust them with my data. There's a lot you can do with Telscale, but in my case, I'm just using it to remotely access my home network with ease. So if you find this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe and support to my channel. All right, let's get started. So the first thing you'll want to do is head over to telescale.com. Uh, keep in mind, everything that I'll be showing you today requires no subscription or payments. For my setup, everything is completely free. You first want to click on Get Started. From here, you can choose whatever provider you want to sign up. For me, I'm just going to use uh, Google for my setup. Once you sign up, you'll be directed to this page. Just answer the questions. So for the first one, I just chose personal or at home use. And then I'll just choose IT and I don't use a VPN. And then you'll click next to add your first device. So I'll be setting up Telscale on one of my Linux servers and configuring it as a subnet router so I can access my services, which are running on the 192.168.20.0. A slash 25 network. So a subnet router in Telscale lets you extend your network without needing to install Telscale on every device you want to remote access to. Instead, the subnet router acts as a gateway providing access to the entire subnet. And this will become clearer as I demonstrated within my home setup. And keep in mind that while this setup works well for my needs, it's not a requirement to install on a Linux server. You can install Telscale on a variety of devices within your home subnet. And if you're curious about compatibility, just check out the installation guide on their website to see the full list of supported devices. So I'll start by selecting Linux, copying the install script, and running it on my Linux server. Once the installation is complete, we'll execute the command right here, sudo telescale up. However, since I want to configure this server as a subnet router and ensure access to services running on the 20.0 uh, subnet, I'll, the command that I want to use is sudo telescale up, and then you're going to advertise routes 192.168.20.0 slash 25. You're basically going to advertise your subnet. The next thing you'll want to do is you'll want to copy the link right here, and you'll want to paste it on your browser. This is just an authentication link. I'll show you right here. You'll sign in with whatever authentication method you chose. You'll click connect. And once you log in, it should say log in successful. Now, if you go back to your Telscale page, you should see that the server that we set up is now uh, up and running. So the next device that I want to add will be my desktop computer, which is a Windows 11 device. You can look at my IP address. And it shows that I'm on a different network than the 20.0 network. And if I try to ping my Linux server, which is 20.66, it fails. So what I want to do now is I want to click on Windows 
Um, and I can just copy this and go to the website to download the Tailscale application. However, I already have it downloaded on my computer, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and skip over to where you first log in to Tailscale on your computer. So once you have the Tailscale application downloaded, you just want to go and click on the Tailscale link within your icon tray, and you'll get redirected to log in to your Tailscale network again. And you just like before, you'll click Connect. And now if you go back, you can see that we have both my laptop as well as my server connected within the same Tailscale network. And you can just click Success, it works, and go to Admin Console. And as you can see, you can see the first two devices that I've added to my Tailscale network. So before you can access the subnet that's being advertised, you first need to approve the route. And if you hover over to the subnet's icon, it'll say go to Edit Route Settings and Option Menu. So I'll just click on the three little dots here, and I'll go to Edit Route Settings. Then I'll click on the subnet that I want to advertise, and I'll click Save. Now that it's advertised, I can go back to my terminal and I can try to ping that server again and it should work. And as you can see, I'm able to ping the server. So now since I can access my 20.0 subnet, I should be able to reach some of my services right. So let's find out. If I head over to access my home or dashboard, it fails. And that's because we now need to make some DNS changes within the Tailscale uh, dashboard. So if I navigate over to DNS and scroll all the way down to add name server, here you'll want to enter in the IP address of your DNS server, which should be within the subnet that you're advertising. If you're using Pi-hole to handle DNS queries, you'll input its IP address. In my case, I'm using Vine 9 so I'll just enter in the IP address of the server that's running Vine 9 You also want to restrict to a specific domain. Here, you're entering the domain that you own, that you're using, and then you'll click Save. You can also configure global name servers for queries that aren't directed to your domain. And my setup, I'll use Cloudflare's public DNS domain and enable DNS override to handle these external queries efficiently. So now if I go back to try to access Homer dashboard, again, I should be able to access the page. And there it is, I can now remotely access uh, Homer dashboard, and I can also access my other services as well without the need to put Telscale on each of my servers. Now, with Telscale configured as a subnet router, you can securely access services running on your private network no matter where you are, whether you're managing servers, accessing self hosted apps, or just ensuring seamless remote connectivity. This setup gives you perfect control and flexibility that you would need. If you found this guide helpful, please make sure you like and subscribe and drop a comment if you have any questions or insights. I'd love to hear to see how you're using Telscale within your own setup. Thank you for watching. Until next time.